Welcome. Let's take a look now at a risk event for the week starting Monday, 26th of September. Next week, we get the German GFK Consumer Confidence, the EFO Business Climate and the German CPI data, all which could conspire to see uh, the markets come under further pressure. But before then, we've just had some uh, PMI data out in the German economy. This is the S&P Global Manufacturing PMI falling to 48.3. That was in line with expectations. Anything below 50 indicates contraction in the German economy. But the service data coming in falling further than thought to 45.4. This was down from 47.7 in August and not as even lower than the 47.2 uh, we saw as an estimate for this. So you can see the pressure building. Now, the Fed decision this week already taking the DAX dangerously close to an important area of support. But starting on Monday, we had the EFO business climate out Economists uh, looking there for pressure on that index. The risk is for a downside print on what's expected there. Wednesday, we got the 7 a.m. release of the GFK Consumer Confidence. The last reading there was a record low of a negative 36.5. And then as we continue to march on Thursday, we get the uh, 1 p.m. release of the Consumer Price Index, which climbed back up to 7.9% in the last month. So upward pressure doubtless building there. But the way to trade this is on the German DAX. And you can see here that line of support that we've got here, um, which equals that 23.96% drop we saw from the record high uh, back at the beginning of this year to that low down on the 8th of March. And you can see we've tried several times to get below that line there, which is established with that low uh, on the 5th of July at 12,385. Currently trading at 12,461. If you are short on this with a view to taking a candle or close below this line of support, which I think is almost certainly going to happen at some point, if we do get this negative data coming through next week, your stop loss goes above the top of yesterday's candle initially at 12,800. And then if we do get a further on a decline in this market with uh, lower lows, you then bring your stop loss in, which is the really uh, efficient way of trading a trend. Keep on that trend until it turns around and takes your stop out. You keep on bringing that stop in uh, closer and closer as you go further on down. If you get a, a candle close below the 12,385, you can see on this left hand side of the chart here, there's then hardly anything stopping it all the way down to 11,331. So at the moment, at least technically, it is looking very fragile, especially if we get a candle close below uh, that line of support, looking for weaker data coming through uh, in the German economy next week.